Namaste my fellow strikers, Holy Materia here, back with another Shinobi Striker video. Today we're going to be talking about the Season 8 Developers Letter, but before we get into it, be sure to Shinobi Strike that like button and subscribe for more content. Alright, let's get right into it. <laughs> okay guys, so Season 8 is coming sooner than I thought. It should be, it might be out by the time I, this video is released, but it's coming May 23rd and then uh, so the first thing is that the Kawaki DLC is coming out. It's a attack type, I'm not that excited about it, it's basically a reskin. Uh, basically an attack version of Boroshiki, but we'll talk about that in a separate video uh, But I'll show like his all this stuff here that they all the videos and stuff of his moves So this is this DLC is just a total reskin man like the The first move is just basically the Ishiki alt, but just one thing uh, and then The second one is Suko Nahikona God Hunter. This is kind of like just another dash move but it, it seems like it works kind of like Kamui lightning blade or something because you're invulnerable when you're dashing and they, they keep talking about like your body shrinks and stuff but the, your character never gets smaller so and then the alt is just karma progression <laughs> so, so they were like they couldn't let it they couldn't let range types have something too tight man they were like well let's get the same thing to attack types basically just a transformation where you get stronger and then you can do another attack at the end uh but yeah that's not what's really hype uh, <laughs> it's just a new dlc I'm, I'm, I'm probably not gonna buy the season pass now that i see that that's one of the dlc glad they came out with that first though so now let's get into the real stuff so the summon animals are on your side it says as promised uh summon animals will take will make their debut in season eight and then uh, the, we're going to be showing off the ninja hound in this first one so this thing looks dope <laughs> it looks way better than i thought and you can just summon it anywhere i was thinking it might be something like in paladins where you can only ride it at the beginning of the match but you can just summon it anywhere like and it looks like the same animation and when you summon other stuff like the snake or the slug or something like that uh, so it's gonna have a long cast time just like those things but it is also but the, the fact that you can use it anywhere is, is dope and this one it looks like when you run into somebody it will do damage to them and knock them away so i'm thinking that the other summons are going to have different abilities and that the summon the summon hound that's that's its ability so that's pretty dope it looks cool it looks a lot faster i don't know about the jumping ability uh, but it says the summon hound or the uh, summon ninja hounds and ride them to quickly move around the battlefield enemies you run into while moving will suffer damage and be blown backwards not only are ninja hounds fast they can also run along walls and jump making it easier than ever to move around the map we really needed the, this with those with these new big maps <laughs> however you'll be stuck in place for a little while when you when calling the ninja hound and the ninja hound will retreat if it's hit with an attack while running making it making it hard to rely on them to escape a tricky situation we recommend calling your ninja hound when your enemy lets their guard down or when you aren't being focused by your foes uh, so ninja masters uh, also possess oh we'll talk about that in a second so it's funny because it's like we're, this isn't for fleeing we're not we didn't make this as you go run away uh, so you just need to get one hit and this thing will, will be unsummoned so maybe like just getting hit by a kunai or something will, will make it so that you can't ride it anymore so it's not for running away it's for running to your <laughs> to your opponents but yeah this is definitely a welcome addition because of the the new big maps and then ninja masters also possess a secret technique called body activation that is similar to some of the animals uh, so basically it looks like they just didn't want to make different summons that made sense for each of the different masters so they just made them be able to move faster which is which is trash i would have rather them just be on the ninja hound like everybody but whatever it says body activation can be used without an animation and okay so it does function a little bit different without an animation and upon activation grants an increased movement speed effect allowing the user to move rapidly around the map while this technique doesn't have an animation when used users who attack or who are hit with an attack while using it will lose the effect for this reason we recommend using it while out of battle to capitalize on its effect okay so this one you can't even attack while you're in there but that makes sense because the ninja hound you can't attack while you're on there either uh, so it says in addition animals will be added to the scroll appraisal lineup giving you the chance to get a rare ninja hound Summon animals from the scroll appraisal might also debut with various special effects so 
Uh, this is the first one. I'm thinking that this one, actually I was thinking that this the first one everybody would just get for free, but it looks like we might actually need to even get the first one from the shop, which is would be crazy. Uh, but basically the first stuff is just some basic stuff, but then it says, Deal, deals more damage to enemies than other ninja hounds so i think this basic color one the special thing is that it deals more damage then we noticed in the other video that there's different colors so they might all have different effects like maybe one runs faster or one can jump faster or something like that uh, so that's going to be interesting and especially when they come out with some new summons it could be really interesting like maybe there's a toad summon that can jump really high or even like a bird summon that you could fly on that would be crazy says we'll be releasing an article at a later date with more information on ninja hounds attainable from the scroll appraisal along with additional details on how to use ninja on how to use ninja hounds so please check it out then we plan to have summoned animals fully released following the maintenance at the end of june uh, we also have plans to include other animals to join in to join you in battle apart from ninja hounds look forward to them so I'm hoping that we at least get like one animal during this next update, but it's looking like they're they're gonna be fully here by the by the end of June, which is it would be really sad if if when this update for May 23rd comes out, if there's no Ninja Hounds, I'll be disappointed in this in this update for sure, because this is the most exciting thing that that, that we have going on. But then SS items are, have arrived. Now this is hype because this this sounded like it could be hype, but we weren't sure. But it is hype because these weapons look these weapons look incredible. So it says starting from this update, the new rarity SS Plus items make their debut in the scroll appraisal. As we mentioned in the previous developer's letter, SS Plus items are designed around the idea of being weapons even more unique than SS items. So we've been working, we've been hard at work challenging ourselves to come up with new animations that properly reflect the source material. Following that train of thought, while the SS Plus item is equipped, your character will strike a brand new pose where they're deploying on missions and when they win in survival exercise. So this is a cool little addition, kind of like the, uh, the new puppet. Yeah, so you get new poses. Um, and yeah, this, this thing is clean, man, it looks clean. So what this really feels like to me is that SS items seem kind of like Boruto garbage technology ninja stuff, which I'm not interested in, and that's why I never really cared too much about SS items. But SS plus items feel like, they feel like Naruto and Shippuden kind of weapons that are, that are SS quality, but they're like real ninja stuff that we that we got during the real series, not Boruto. Uh, so it says we'll be unveiling three new SS items. I don't know why they did three and just left defense out, but at least they didn't hate on range like they usually do. Uh, but of course, we'll start with the attack weapon Claw Edge Karama. It says a kunai styled after the seventh Hokage Naruto Uzumaki in the tailed beast sealed within him, Karama. When using normal attacks, the Shadow Clone Jutsu and Rasengan are included in your combos. When using strong attacks, you'll recreate Karama Link Mode and lash out with, Karam with Karama's mighty claws. So yeah, man, this looks this looks amazing. And what's even what's even crazier is that, like, a lot, I know we've all been wanting to get the to get the cast characters combos. But to be honest, this is better. Like this is this is them working on extra stuff. They because it it would be easy for them to just give us the cast character combos and just recycle that stuff. But this looks just as good, if not better, than most of the cast character combos, and it's a completely new thing. So this is a, this is incredible. This is better than I could have hoped for, really. So then, range weapon is Inferno Sword Flame Control. So the Ninja Blade styled after the legendary hero known as the Supporting Shadow, <laughs> Sasuke Uchiha. With this, you'll be able to recreate his ma his many abilities, including Flame Control and Susano, along with their destructive potential. So this is man, these look incredible, man! I cannot believe how good these are this is this is way better than just giving us the cast characters combos because like none of the sasuke's have combos that are this cool 
None of them. And even uh, Karama and Link Mode Naruto doesn't have combos as cool as the other thing. So these these are these are way better than just getting the cast characters combos. And really, when people say, "Oh, I want the cast characters combos," basically what they want is some cheese. Uh, they, they want some easy stuff that are, that's un inescapable and some nonsense, and they want to pair it with with some with some other stuff to make it even more cheap. Uh, so it's not it. So this is this is just all around better. And then heal type weapon sealed sealed blade totsuka blade so a straight sword styled after the genius of the uchiha clan itachi uchiha with this you'll be able to recreate his many battle oriented ninjutsu including susano and the bird clone jutsu make use of the bird clone to dart about the battlefield at high speed yo i'm so glad that itachi has got to become a the healer representative i, I did, never would have expected that but i'm i'm not mad at it this this is so dumb oh man so yeah man this thing looks dope too i still don't understand why healers have the shield but uh, <laughs> that's what's up that's whatever and, and now healers got a fireball jutsu <laughs> we got a fireball jutsu as heal types <laughs> that's crazy that's crazy i'm not mad at that at all this thing looks incredible man we got susano armor i wonder if that armor actually uh, defends you but we'll see about that so yeah, man, uh, the new season is going to be coming out on May 23rd, which is today for me, uh, but I guess tomorrow for you guys. And then the uh, Kawaki will fully release on May 20th, 24th on Friday, like always. So the cast character will come out when the season starts and then the DLC will be available to purchase to use on your avatar on Friday, like it always is. So yeah guys, that's, man, this video is super long. These developer let letters are so long and detailed and juicy. Uh, the, I'm, I'm loving that they've been giving us these, man. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Let me know what you are thinking about season eight. Are you hyped? Are you not? Uh, this first update is definitely going to be catered, or it looks like it's going to be catered towards attack types. But what else is new? Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. I'll see you in the next one. Everybody stay safe out there. Peace and love.